In the previous video, I performed a combined ECU reset and TPS learn procedure. Let's discuss it further to answer any questions you might have. I started this procedure by running the engine until operating temperature. This is done to verify the low speed setting has stabilized. The low speed setting is then adjusted to 1500 RPM. 1500 RPM provides a predetermined amount of airflow ideal for calibrating the TPS to 0%. If the low speed was left at the original setting of around 2000 RPM, the TPS would then read zero when the throttle was truly open anywhere from 2 to 4%. This can negatively affect run quality throughout the entire range of throttle opening. Next is the code plug and ignition switch sequence. Just make sure to count somewhat accurately between ignition switch cycles, because if you wait too long or go too quickly, the reset and learn procedure won't work. This won't hurt anything other than your pride because you'll have to start over and try again. I've connected the Kohler diagnostic system during this part of the process, but this isn't necessary for the reset and learn procedure to occur. I could just start and run the engine at the low speed setting, but I'm turning the key on to get communication with the Kohler diagnostic system. This is a stop pin equip throttle body, meaning maximum TPS is usually around 60%. TPS is at 48.4% right now because the ECU is still in the TPS learning process. The 48.4% TPS seen now is where the ECU calculates throttle position. It has yet to actually calibrate throttle position to TPS. In order to calibrate TPS, the ECU needs to identify the minimum throttle opening. This is why it's important to start and run the engine at the low speed setting after performing the reset and learn procedure. This is also the reason for adjusting the low speed setting to 1500 RPM before performing the procedure. The Kohler engine in this welder is equipped with an idle down solenoid. This solenoid activates several seconds after the engine starts. It's impossible to start this engine at the low speed setting without hot wiring the solenoid or performing other modifications. It is not 100% necessary to start and run the engine for the ECU to learn throttle position. As mentioned earlier, the ECU simply needs to identify minimum throttle opening after the code plug and ignition switch sequence has been performed. I've closed the throttle by hand and can immediately see the TPS scale has changed. Max TPS now reads 55.8%. We've just witnessed the ECU learning and calibrating TPS to physical throttle opening. Changing from 48.4 to 55.8% doesn't seem that significant, does it? But listen to what the engine sounds like if started and ran while being off by 7.4% TPS. The engine stabilizes only after the idle down solenoid activates because the throttle is now closed and the ECU has learned and calibrated TPS. Closing the throttle by hand isn't necessary, but the engine runs better once started because the ECU has already learned and calibrated the TPS. Once the engine has started and run for a few moments at the low speed setting, we see that TPS at 1500 RPM equals 0.0%. Prior to performing the reset and relearn, the TPS was 1.4% at 1500 RPM. 0% TPS at 1500 RPM is the ideal setting, though 1.4% is also within the acceptable range of 0 to 2%. We can easily see a change from before and after the reset and learn procedure. Remember, Increasing load on the crankshaft requires more throttle opening to achieve the same 1500 RPM. For this reason, it may be necessary to disconnect excess load on less common applications, such as a blower or screw type air compressor, before performing the ECU reset and TPS learn procedure. The final step is returning low speed to the original setting. If there's any doubt whether the ECU reset and TPS learn procedure has occurred, use the Kohler Diagnostic System to access historic data. If a reset has occurred, historic data values and trip hours will reset to zero. Be sure to watch Kohler Diagnostic System Live Data Throttle Position Sensor 
for additional TPS troubleshooting. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and if you like the video, kindly give it a thumbs up.